Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is balanced diet, what is the basis for balanced diet, what are basic food groups and what are the factors that one should consider while preparing a balanced diet for a person. Though it is not related to our topic, but I found a quote, very interesting one. Balance is not something you find, it's something you create. So this applies to our balanced diet also, where we have to create the balanced diet for each individual. It is not same for all the persons. There are so many factors that influence the preparation of balanced diet for an individual. So what is basically balanced diet? So a diet which includes food items which supply all the essential nutrients required for the body so that the person's health and growth is maintained. So such diet we call it as balanced diet. So what is the basis for balanced diet? So a balanced diet should be based on some important things like locally available foods. It should be based on the economic capacity of the individuals, should fit with the local food habits and the diet should be easily digestible and should be tasty. And whatever balanced diet you are preparing, that should contain enough dietary fiber. So how the food items are selected from basic food groups? So when you are preparing a balanced diet, we will consider different food items. So all these essential nutrients, including vitamins and minerals required for the body, they are distributed in varying quantities in different natural foods. So all these natural foods, we call them as basic food groups. There are mainly four basic food groups. One is milk group, which includes milk and milk products. Second one is meat group. It includes meat, fish, eggs, pulses or beans, nuts, etc. Third one is green leafy vegetables and fruit group. The fourth group is cereal group. So it includes bread, rice, wheat, barley. So these are the basic four food groups. A balanced diet is prepared using different food items from each of these four groups so that different foods rich in different nutrients can contribute to the total nutritive value of the diet. When you are planning a balanced diet, you should consider the following things like age, sex and calorie requirement of individuals, selection of the nutrients from basic food groups, economic status of the individual, high cost and low cost diet. Coming to importance of first point that is age, sex and calorie requirements. So while planning a diet for individual, any individual, you have to consider individual's age, sex, physical activity and also you have to consider the special nutritional needs like uh, growing children, pregnant and lactating lady. So the requirements will be different for these special nutritional needs. So according to that, you should calculate the total calorie requirement and also requirement of other nutrients. So once you determine the required calories and required nutrients, then you have to select the foods from the food basic food groups. So the required quantities of food items, they have to be selected from these basic food groups in such a way that the total nutritive values, they satisfy the estimated calorie requirement and estimated nutritive requirement. And the third important point is economic status of the individual. So when you are formulating a balanced diet, it is very important to consider the economic status of the individual because when you are planning a diet, you cannot include a costly food item from the basic food groups for a person who cannot afford those food items because they are beyond his above his purchasing capacity. So this is very important. So according to that, you can prepare low cost diet even that even though it is low cost, it includes all the essential nutrients. Coming to the fourth point oh, related to the previous one, high cost and low cost diet. When you are preparing a balanced diet for a rich person, so it is not a problem because you can consider any food items from the basic food groups because you can purchase. Those food items are within the purchasing capacity of that person. But only thing is in case of a person belonging to low income group, those who cannot afford some food items. So you have to consider the cheaper items from the basic food groups, even though they are cheaper as we, as I told in the previous point. 
it has nutritive value same as that of a food item which is costly uh, this is very very important because even though you prepared very nice balanced diet which contains all the costly food items then it becomes useless for the person who cannot purchase those food items so this table shows the balanced diet for a non vegetarian adult man and who comes under moderate work group right so this actual table provides approximately 2800 calories and about 75 grams of protein 